Good day. It is April, Saturday, April 13th, and here in northern Michigan we do not have open water just yet, and I'm on the land and I'm in my garage, and I'm going to take a few minutes and talk about how I store terminal tackle and why. I, besides fishing out of the Pro V Bass, I also fish out of a Old Town Predator canoe, and I Instead of having two setups of everything, like doubles of everything, I wanted to be able to have a system where I had something I could grab from this boat and put it in that boat and switch it back and forth, whichever craft I was happened to be fishing out of, and I had everything that I wanted. I don't terminal tackle isn't something I wanted a downsized version of because it always seems to be something that you need, at least for me anyway, in my style of fishing. So I come up with a two bag system bag system. It took me a while to kind of zero this in on something that worked while I was fishing and was portable and was effective in this boat as well. But wasn't too much for when I got in the canoe because you certainly don't have the deck space. I have my lap pretty much in the canoe. So this is how this is what I went with. The first bag is I think this is a Cabela's uh, 3700 size bag. And inside this bag, in the pockets in the front and the side, I've got split ring pliers. I've got some uh, wire leader material to keep from getting bit off by toothy critters, which there's plenty of here. And once I get in it, uh, at the top of it, I have a couple of bags of rubber bands. I I uh, started this uh, beginning of last season where I put rubber bands on all the treble hooks in the boat. <laughs> it it uh, was a lengthy process in the beginning, and I didn't know if I was going to want to take the time to take them off and put them on right while I was fishing. But the uh, convenience of not grabbing one rattle bait and getting 63, just, you just get one. It's nice. I, uh, I will never go back to the other thing. So we have the extra rubber bands. Top of the bag is spinner bait blades and trailer hooks and extra stuff to build one or repair one on the fly. That seems to be an important consideration for me. I like to fish spinner baits. This is extra umbrella rigs. This is two spools for my spinning reels, uh, different size braid. This is spools for my casting reels. Uh, my I use quantum casting reels, low pro, low profile casting reels, and the majority of the spools, the reels are all the same, so the spools are all the same. So I can have uh, ready spools rather than having to change reel from one rod to another rod. Um, I can just go from braid to mono to floral, whatever I want. I don't do it a ton, but it's convenient, and I like to be able to do it. My fishing, uh, this is a multi-species area, and you can be fishing for many different kinds of fish. Uh, you know, I've had days where I went out and thought I was going to be smallmouth bass, and it turns out I'm walleye fishing, or vice versa, or it turns out it's a pike bite, or whatever. So I like to be able to have the option of switching my gear if I need to. This is aftermarket treble hooks. I don't do many stock hooks. I change them all, most all of them. Uh, these are uh, Mustad KVD triple grips, some owner ST35s, and Gamakatsu uh, Magic Eye round bend and EWG. The bottom tray is weights, tungsten. Uh, insert weights, there's some lead, uh, drop shot weights, both cylinder and the teardrop style. I fish a lot of cylinder weights. Uh, they come through the weeds better. I like them. Right. So when I grab that bag and put it in the canoe, or take it from the canoe and put it back in the lund, that's what I get. Second bag, just as important. 
This is a Cabela's, uh, I think it's like a, uh, I think it's originated as like a worm binder. It's like a loose leaf notebook style bag. There's a compartment on the top and it has skirts in it. I make my own skirts. It's pretty easy. Uh, I get what I want, make what I want. This is spinnerbait skirts made up in advance, plus I have the stuff in here. I can make a skirt if I need to, but I have quite a few made up in advance. And that's what's in the top of the bag. It's kind of a full space. Getting into the guts of the matter. As you can see, it's a loose leaf style with the tackle inside of each little space. And I'll just go over them briefly. The first zipper bag is uh, split rings and D-rings. Uh, big fan of uh, owner hyperwire split rings. I keep them in the original pack, although I may put two or three packs together. I use a little, this is like a pipe cleaner or a little twisty. And then I just put the, all the split rings together. They're in the bag by size, and when I want one, I just open it up, go to the back of the bag, reach in, get what you want. Keeps them handy. I'm not chasing them all over the place. And so th those are regular split rings. There's some pear-shaped split rings, which I like on some of my top water, and uh, the, the uh, oval shape. So that's the first. Second one is drop shot hooks. And Nico rig hooks. This particular page has a separation in the middle of it, makes it kind of easy. But I do the same thing with this. These are uh, the drop shot hooks, and they're in the original pack. I just twist them at the top. There's a couple of gamakatsus. That G finesse is a nice hook. And then, of course, the old standby owner, good hook. I've got some cover shot hooks that are new to me I haven't tried. Uh, the next binder is round bend and extra wide gap hooks. Uh, I use Gamakatsu and Owner Wide Gap Plus and I do the same thing with the with the Gamakatsu hooks or I just leave them in the case, put the little uh, binder on the top, little twisty on the top, and then I can just go through them. Efficient night, and being able to read that number uh, at night is a whole lot easier than that tiny little number that they, well this one actually is pretty good, but some of the Gamakatsu ones, it's a really little number, you can't really see it, I can't, old guy eye. And then, like I said, I'm a big fan of this Owner Wide Gap Plus. I actually stuffed them in a little zoom bag. Uh, this Owner Wide Gap Plus hook, really stout. And I got them in the bags by number, by size. By number. I'll, uh, I'll go through, I buy hooks like this in bulk. Very rarely do I buy a pack of four for $22.99. I'll buy, <laughs> I'll buy those multi-packs that they have and just fill the bags as I, as I need them. And I don't generally take these pages out to get my gear. I just flip through the book to get what I need, but this is for demonstration purposes only. Alright, so this is uh, some more, these are Nico Rig hooks. Uh, this is my Trocar hook selection. Bobber stops, uh, both the pegs and the bobber stops themselves. Uh, this is Wacky Rig gear. I've got the O-rings, the tool, and some of those uh, weights that you put in the, put in the end, uh, Nico Rig weights. And this is uh, an assortment of miscellaneous gear. There's uh, 
some hooks that I don't use that much, skip gap hooks, there's some jig rattles that I don't use a ton of, some other specialty tube hooks, but I like to have them so I, they don't take up much space. Plenty of space in the line, and as long as it's in this bag, it doesn't take up a ton of space in the canoe either. Now, the portability and the convenience of the system is pretty much the main deal and it is fairly convenient to get in and out of here and get the stuff uh, when I need it. And uh, nothing I, one of the few things that frustrates me more is being out on the water when you have something and you know you own it, you know you took the time to purchase it, but then I left it home because I'm a knucklehead. So, hasn't happened in a while. This has been working out good. And uh, until there's a need, I don't see me changing. I've, uh, I try to take care of these little cases because they're really, uh, you can't buy them in the uh, pages, you can't buy them anymore. And uh, I don't want to have to reinvent the wheel by buying another one. And so that's that whole gig. Two bags, boom, terminal tackle. And I'm on the road, or I'm fishing. So that's, that's that whole deal. Uh, hope that was helpful. And I'm out. Good talking to you. GoPro Stop Video. Or GoPro Stop Video.